Warning! Tube amplifiers have lethal voltages inside them. Please do not attempt to build, test, or repair these without understanding and following all safety protocols. Hey y'all! Well today we're going to go over the process of voicing this 2A3 amp. And what do I mean by voicing the amp? Well, every amp has to me a kind of sound signature of how different tones and frequencies and chords and all that stuff sound when played through a specific set of loudspeakers, which in my case, I'm using Quad S2s, which have a ribbon tweeter, the very revealing speakers that have a really clean high-end response without being overwhelming. And all my other amplifiers sound really good with those speakers. So that's what I use to tune or voice an amp to. Your mileage may vary. You may have some super high efficiency clips horns. They're kind of top heavy that you might want to mellow it out with some different tubes. But this is what I did to this amp and I'll explain why I did the stuff. So first, let's talk about changes I made to the circuit. The first thing, and I was AB comparing it to my 300B amp. And I felt my 300B amp had more detail more kind of delicate representation it was faster it just seemed crisper than this amp did with these horizon tubes which we got the 6sl7 2a3s and at the time i wasn't using this 274b we were using this 5v4 early version before the later this is the later 5v4 this is the early one with the st shaped bottle so we were using this setup and i started thinking about it and i built the amp with the component suggestions that je labs had of using carbon film resistors and i normally use metal film resistors i like those Vichy PRO labeled the little red guys and I use two watt ones just universally it keeps me from having to stock more than one type of a certain value I just the two watt ones aren't that big and it'll cover almost anything you're going to do in a tube amp so I thought about that the carbon film resistors and they were those Kwame green guys I think they were KOA sphere but it's the same thing they're just rebranded and I would put those in the the few places in the signal path and really there's only three resistors in this amp that matter there's the one on the cathode of the driver tube there's one between the cathode and the plate of the SRPP and then there's the grid leak resistor and Honestly, in the past, I hadn't really thought a whole lot about resistors. And it's like talking with my friend Mark, he was like, yeah, try some different resistors and see what you think. So I pulled out those carbon films. I put metal film, those PRO2 Viché units, the little red guys, and wow, huge difference. I mean, it was clearly audible. And I'm not going to... I'm going to say huge difference. I mean, it wasn't like blow you away, but you could definitely hear the difference. And the way I was testing this is I did one channel with metal film and one with carbon film. And then I put my mono phono cartridge in. And with a mono signal, I powered one channel, had the right speaker only playing music. And then I would, without turning the amp off, just swap the RCA jack over to the other channel, swap the speaker leads, sit back down and play the same thing again. And it, I know it's not flipping a switch AB, but it was less than a minute swapping it out. And I know people say, you know, your audible memory doesn't exist or whatever, but I could hear the difference. It definitely had more detail in like delicate symbols and drums and that sort of thing the things that 
have a crispness to it sounded a lot crisper with the metal film resistors but it still wasn't as good as my 300b amp i didn't feel so then i started tube rolling and here's all the 6sl7 tubes i got and we started with these rca clear bottles they're clear all the way down then here's some sylvania that have like a bottom getter i call them and they've got a similar plate structure but it's a different tube and these do sound different then there's these little side getter ge's with the silver plates and then these are the 6h9c russian tubes these came in a wilsonton r8 the, these are the 6sl7s they come with and then i got a pair of these coinbase ge clear bottles with a side getter with silver plates so what do these all sound like compared to the horizon tubes these are probably the most mellow these little short ge's i didn't really like these bottom getter sylvanias they just were kind of mushy on the top end these clear bottle rcas had a detail to them and it's probably my second favorite to the horizons and then actually these six h9c's also sounded really good they're a little different they're probably a little more chill than these horizon tubes but they're still they're to me better than these bottom getter sylvanias or these short bottle ge's and then these coinbase ge's are kind of an interesting mix they're probably like a tweener between you know like these tubes and these tubes which you know for your speakers they may sound great plus they look really cool when they're lit up so we also tried different output tubes and i've got a pair of these 2a3 shuggy dash z they're actually a 2a3 c dash z tubes and to me these are actually a little brighter than these horizon tubes and i just even when i put them in with the metal film resistors it was it was like the resistors were fighting the tube and it wasn't a real happy kind of melodic sound to it and with the carbon films i like these better but once i put the metal films in these were too much so the other one that I got a pair of are these EML 2A3 solid plate tubes. And I burned them in for about a day hoping that they would calm down some and maybe I need to give them some more play time. But in this amp with these transformers and this circuit, I actually like these Horizon 2A3 tubes better. And these are expensive tubes, which I'm sure one of the things i've kind of found with these eml tubes is they really work good with the iso tango iron because the iso iron really brings out the mid-range and the bottom end over some of these other types of ei core transformers at least my past experience i haven't played around with swapping them for these hay booers but i'm hopeful that when i get the iso iron that these may come out on top but for now with this kind of base model of this amp these horizon tubes all four in all four places which in my 300b amp were just too much they sound fantastic and so i still felt that the top end needed a little more like detail it seemed like there was just a little smearing and a little slowness when you would get like a guitar strum you didn't hear each string being plucked it was a, just a chord and with my 300b amp you could hear you know as the finger went across each string and the main difference is i did the led series resistor bias on the driver tube versus a resistor with a cathode bypass cap and so i had 
laid this out and the tag strip laid out in anticipation of switching to a resistor LED combo, which I don't think an LED by itself works well. It's too sharp, but when you put a unbypassed resistor in series, it kind of rounds the edge off of the LED, but still lets the detail of the LED come through. After listening to it for several hours, it did have a little bit of fatiguing kind of sound. And I was like, God, I'm so close. You know, what, what can I try to try to roll it back a little bit without killing that detail and speed that those metal film resistors and the LED brought? And sat around, talked with Mark for a while about this, and he suggested that I try putting that carbon film KOA spear resistor back on the grid leak resistor of the output tube. And honestly, I was really skeptical, thinking that's that's not going to do anything. It's just the grid leak resistor. This It's not even like directly in the signal path. But guys, that fixed it. That really smoothed out that like super upper top end without destroying the the detail and the speed and the crispness of the sound that those metal film resistors and the LED brought. And that's what we ended up with. I'm really happy now with the way this whole tube set with the circuit the way it is. So that's what the schematic on the website's now showing. The bomb's got all those parts in it. I'm telling you, don't change the parts. I mean, if you, want to, if you want to put different resistors in it, go ahead, but you're going to be kind of on your own voicing it. And I will say that if you build this and it sounds too bright to you or too edgy, you could try the, either the resistor cathode bypass cap combo in the original schematic or just put carbon film resistors for those 2.2Ks and that would probably take the edge off if it sounds too edgy to you. So the last thing that I did was I tried some different rectifier tubes and given that these are really old and a little harder to find than these GT, I think they're called. I think these are GT. Let's see what this is. If I can even read it. GA. That's this, you know, square or, you know, more bulb-shaped kind of tube. Put this guy in, and it brought the voltage up a little higher, but it still wasn't, like, out of spec, so the amp will probably make, you know, just a breath more power. And I'm not sure if that's what I was hearing, but I didn't like what I was hearing. It seemed a little... It was kind of pushing it back over that edge of being too fatiguing-sounding. So if you're going to use a new old stock tube, go with the earlier 5E4G. And then finally, PS Vane sent me a pair of these 274B-AT, which is more like a 5U4 than an actual 274B tube as far as electrically. And I don't know about you, but I think this looks great because it perfectly matches these 2A3 tubes. And sits up here where you can see it. I mean, I just, I think it looks awesome. And the voltage came out exactly the same as this. And to me, it might even sound a little smoother than this tube. And I'm still on the fence about, you know, rectifier tubes making a huge difference in the way it sounds. I need to do some more swapping back and forth and listening, but it did seem to bring a little smoothness being a direct heated rectifier tube. And it fits the theme of all the other direct heated tubes in the amp so plus it just looks cool and so this is something you can just go buy you don't have to go search new old stock and i think this is the way i'm going to sell these amps is with this set of tubes voiced like this with these output transformers as like the model that's the base that's you know not the upgraded one with the iso iron don't know what the ISO iron version is going to like. I have a feeling it's going to like some of these higher end tubes like these EMLs or maybe the PS Faint Acmes. 
I do have a pair of the PS Vein Acme 2A3 tubes on the way, and that'll be for a future video. If it sounds anything like their Summit tube in my 300B amp, it's going to be really nice. But we'll just have to wait till it gets here to try it. But for now, you're not going to go wrong putting a set of Horizon tubes in one of these if you decide to build one or if you buy one of these. And again, I'm going to be selling them with and without tubes. And, you know, since these tubes are so easily available, it probably makes sense to just sell them without tubes and let you buy the tubes. And then if you have a problem with a tube warranty or whatever, you're not having to deal with me, you're dealing with PS Vane. And when I was thinking about selling the amp with tubes, I was thinking, well, you might have to have some kind of oddball tubes and whatever, but it's turned out that these production tubes sound fantastic in this amp. So we're done with this, at least as far as this base model. I'm gonna get busy building a couple of these and I gotta build a ISO Tango version for a customer that commissioned one and put a deposit on it, so I gotta get started on that. And so might be busy with that for a little bit. But yeah, I'm super, super happy with the way this 2A3 amp turned out. And I shouldn't be shocked. I've heard before that these 2A3 amps sound really good. And I have a feeling that the ISO Tango one's gonna sound even better. But until I build one, I don't know. So I do have some of these Hey Boomer Transformers on the way, so I'll be able to build. I've got enough parts here now to build two more of these, so I'm going to get going on that. And I really like that I'm going to have kind of a universal chassis platform layout so I can build either a 300B or a 2A3, whichever I want to do. So that has turned out to be a, a really nice feature of this build and coming to that conclusion. So anyway... Hope you're enjoying this channel. And like I said, I've dropped the final schematics, the bomb, and a picture of the amp and stuff on my website. And I'll put a link to that below. And if you want to build one, go to the parts to build it. I'm giving a green light on this thing. It sounds freaking awesome. And thanks again to Melody at PS Vane for helping me out with tubes. So I've got stuff to try. And like I said, I've compared it to like this whole little rack of tubes. And this is what I'm going to be listening to. So, thanks again to all you subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video. Comment below about what you think about this and what you think about resistors changing the sound and all that stuff. I know some people think parts are parts. They're all going to sound the same as long as the value is the same. It's just, I, this is another thing I'm kind of surprised at how much difference it makes. And we'll be playing more with different resistors in the future. And maybe even be playing with some of these, like, Tantalum audio note resistors. Stuff that are kind of expensive. Also had a company send me some silver wire. So we're going to be experimenting with that soon to see if I can hear the difference with that. You know, doing one channel with some silver wire the other night. We'll be reporting on that soon. So, yeah. Appreciate all you regular viewers, Patreon supporters, people that make donations to the site for, you know, building projects and finding value in what I'm putting out there for free. I really appreciate that. And until the next video, have a nice day.